Hi everyone, Jody with the Ringlord here. Welcome to season three, episode four of our Beginner Weave series. This is linear scale mail. Linear scale mail is literally putting scales in a line as opposed to the standard overlapping scale mail that forms kind of a diamond pattern. We have five different sizes of scales and lots and lots of different materials. I'm just showing you two materials here. This is extra large and all of these are anodized aluminum except for this is our polycarbonate um, engineered plastic scales They come in other colors as well as clear and black. So extra large, large, medium, small, and tiny. Today we're going to be working with extra large scales in bronze anodized aluminum and red anodized aluminum and we will be working with 14 gauge SWG 2 millimeter wire diameter 3 eighths of an inch internal diameter uh, saw cut anodized aluminum in gold. So first thing you're going to do is take two scales and sit one on top of the other. You're going to take a ring and slip it through the scale hole of both scales and then close the ring. You're going to need to double that. It should just look like this. You're going to grab another scale. So in my pattern, I'm going to use red. You're going to push up the top scale. So I just used my thumb to push it up. I'm going to sit a red scale on top. And then I'm going to take a ring and put it through the hole of the scale on top. You, okay, these rings just move, so you need to make sure they're split like that. That's why I kind of have it forced up so that they split. And then you're going to take that same ring and put it through the hole of the scale that is now second. So it's the one that you put on top in the previous step. Okay, we're gonna close that ring we're going to do the same thing. So we're going to put a ring through the top scale and we're going to put a ring through the second scale. Close it. Rings should only ever go through scales and so there are two rules. Rings only ever go through two scales at a time and rings never go through other rings. So we're now going to take another scale, place it on top, and then take a ring, go through the top scale, go through the second scale, and if you push them up, it's much easier to get into that hole. Okay, so that's what it looks like from all angles, and you're just going to close the ring. Okay, now we're gonna put our second ring in Extra large scales are a little fiddly. You can see um, the rings like to move. So you just need to be aware if you're gonna use the size for linear scale mail to just make sure your rings are in the proper position. You'll need to do that with all of them, but these tend to move a little bit more. Okay, so here's what we have right now. I'll turn it over so you can see the back. And now I'm just gonna continue building this. So once you get it as long as you want it, depending on what you're using it for. So if I were gonna make a necklace or a bracelet, I would take another open ring and just slip it through the first, the top scale hole and close it. And I would put my clasp on that ring, depending on which way your clasp is oriented. Um, you might need to put another ring. So you need something to clasp it to. So generally what I will do is I will flip the piece over. I will take an open ring 
and go through these two bottom scales, or sorry, bottom rings, okay, just like that. And then I make a little extension. This one's just three rings long. And hook it on before I close that ring and close it. That way I have something for my clasp to clasp onto at the other end. And that is linear scale mail. You can use linear scale mail for jewelry, bracelets, necklaces, earrings. Um, you can use it as a belt. You can use it for straps, like for a chainmail bra or a scale mail bra, anything you can think of. Please go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you are notified when we have new content. If you have any order or product or website questions, please email customer service at orders at theringlord.com. If you have any weave or project or tutorial questions, please email us at projecthelp at theringlord.com. I hope this video has been helpful and I hope you have a great day.